If you share your life with a canine companion, then let's be real. Most of the pictures in your phone are probably of your pooch, right? <laughs> but just like little kids, dogs don't always like to pose for pictures. So how do we get the shots we really want to save and share, you know, like a professional? We're getting some advice this morning. Joining us is Dennis Glennon, who is an award-winning wildlife and nature photographer. He even published a book all about Buddy the dog. So you know your stuff, Dennis, and we've got a lot of your great pictures to share. But how do we do it? Sometimes these dogs are so squirmy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, well, one thing you do, right, uh, you plan your photo shoot, right? And you, and you plan for anything. So what I do is um, I get the dog really tired um, before the photo shoot. <laughs> and then they're, they're relaxed and I walk them around. And then also um, I bring uh, sneaky treats that they've never had before because most dogs – They'll work for the food. So, uh, <laughs> give them something like like a really stinky something that they love. Mm -hmm. They'll do anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, great, great kid, yeah. Okay, I like that strategy because that is kind of the same approach people take with kids. Get them kind of worn out so they're not too feisty. Um, and then definitely think about your location. We're seeing some of your pictures up on the screen and they are just remarkable. And really when you get those tight shots of the faces, I mean, that's where all of the magic is, right? So what, what are you looking for in the eyes of a dog? Or the expression. Oh, the, all the I, I always say the, the eyes are, are are the the vision to the soul. So yeah, you want to capture capture those eyes, and the, they all tell a story, right? So very soulful. So I take a zoom lens and I zoom right in on their face and try to catch their expression. And what's really cool is before a photo shoot, I'll often visit with the dog a few times to really study the dog. And, and watch every expression so that way the day of the photo shoot i i know beforehand what they're going to do and what their personality and everything about them so when they make that little head tilt or anything i, I know what to expect and, and i get it and that's that's key study the dog first it's awesome yeah and of course if you know the dog well if it's your own dog then you just probably know when they're maybe the most calm and in the best mood and then also thinking about where they are lighting or whether they have a favorite toy i used to try to put my dog in outfits and take a picture he did not like that and there was never a good picture that's tough yeah the outfits are tough i don't i don't do that um <laughs> i don't do that but the lighting right the lighting is everything uh late afternoon or early morning when that light is super warm and beautiful and it makes the fur light up and it's all warm and fuzzy like the dogs right they're awesome and you just light them up like that and unbelievable that's the best time i mean if you have to shoot in the middle of the day then then get a um you know do it under tree and, and shade or something that that diffuses the light and if you have to shoot indoors which i normally don't do use a little flash and light up the room really bright and it, and it really helps with the photos a lot. Yeah. Oh, Dennis, well, your love for animals comes across, and that must be part of your magic. So thank you very much. And uh, you can look for Dennis Glenn, and he also has a beautiful book all about Buddy, and the pictures are remarkable. So great to see you. Thanks so much. Thanks. Okay, have a great day. Thank you so much.